What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Vs for Build. I'm freezing my ass off and I'm quite excited. Today, this is the final assembly, the real final assembly of the BMW M5. We're gonna put all the freshly painted pieces back on. We're gonna do a couple uh, tasteful modifications to make the car look better, in our opinion. And we're gonna build some stuff that's gonna be fun too. That is all in store for this episode. Please stay tuned. Before I get down to work, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. You guys are really going to like this one. I love this one. This episode is proudly sponsored by Autotempest.com. If you guys don't know what Autotempest is, it's basically like a search engine for every major classified car site online all in one spot. If you guys watch me stream on Twitch, uh, you'll know that I've been using Auto Tempest for a long time now, uh, searching the whole country for one of the, the next things I want to pick up, which is a 240Z shell. So I just jump onto Auto Tempest, type in 240Z, and I automatically have listings from all over the country. They pull in listings from a bunch of sites like eBay, cars.com, plus you can compare with other sites like Auto Trader, Car Gurus, and all of Craigslist. Say goodbye to that 200 mile radius. You can search it all at once. It feels good. Basically, it's all the sites that you'd want to search all in one place. Whether you're in the market, like myself, searching for your next project, or you're just window shopping, I really think Auto Tempest is a great resource to be able to check out really, really large areas and find out like what the market value of the car is that you're looking for, what's a good deal, what's a bad deal, and I'm on there just every day looking and seeing what new posts are made. It's a really great resource when you're looking for a rare car like I am, where you could just search the entire country right away and see what's new, what just came up, what's recent, and find out if you're interested in that. So it's a really great resource, guys, autotempest.com. Link is in the description. Hit that link, go over there. I promise you guys will not regret it. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring this episode. Maybe we can do another one when I, when I finally get my 240Z. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm not gonna stop shopping. All right, so let's get down to work. We gotta get these panels out of the way and the car is uh, covered in snow and frozen outside. We gotta go ahead and bring that in and get that ready so we can start applying some of these freshly painted panels. cars in the shop let's go ahead and pick up where we left off last time let's get the fenders and the hood back on the car we're gonna first kind of like set them on there loosely and then we'll tighten everything down once we get it all lined up and the panel gap appropriate Okay, we got the fenders on the car for the first time and uh, the paint is a pretty damn close match. It is not, I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's 100% match. It's very, very close. You can see like that's dirty car, clean car, uh, new fender. They're very, very close. Uh, if we had more time and I had more skill as a painter, it'd be great to get a little blend job into the door and then it'd be 100% not noticeable. Another thing that looks really interesting though is the color of that rear quarter panel versus the color of that door. They don't really look the same color either. So maybe this car has been repainted. But um, I will say though, if you weren't like 100% looking for it, it looks like it's all just the same color. So we're happy with it. We may get a blend job done someday, uh, but it's definitely not a high priority. So uh, we got both of these on here fit loosely and now we're gonna go ahead and mount the hood up. is now installed we have really great body lines great amount of panel gap so the hood I, I went ahead and fully bolted in the fenders as well as the hood and the um, the rock guards the fender liners uh, that are gonna keep the uh, water protection so it looks great I'm really happy about that so everything's tightened up but we don't have the washer system installed yet so uh, what we're gonna do is double duty so I'm gonna pop the hood Chelsea's gonna work on uh, finalizing the uh, windshield washer sprayers and that stuff there's basically a big cable that kind of runs in and, and hangs out underneath the hood there and while she's doing that I'm gonna work at mounting both the headlights into the car now that could get really tricky because if anything is off basically this stuff is gonna get really unhappy really fast but uh, fingers crossed we can work it out Uh, 
I don't know if you guys could tell what was going on, but I got the headlights perfectly positioned, installed all the way, went to turn them on and test everything. Everything was working except for on my new headlight that I just bought, the angel eye functionality wasn't working. I got down to troubleshooting and trying to figure out things and, and I was looking all for LED stuff because I'm used to angel eyes being powered by LEDs, but they're actually powered by bulbs. And then I looked in there and I saw this bulb and this bulb is blown out. I tested it with the good bulb and that worked. So we're off to the auto parts store to try and find a new bulb. And if we can find a replacement bulb, I know that they will both then work. Back from the shop, got a couple bulbs. This time we will test the lights before we install them and everything's gonna go great and then we're gonna install the headlights again. Okay, headlights are installed and they look fantastic. It actually wasn't any big issue with the whole placement and stuff. I just screwed them into where they go and they fit in perfectly. So that's awesome. Next thing that we're gonna jump to is uh, some customization. Chelsea would like to vinyl wrap the roof of the car, so this will be pretty fun. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up the roof of the car. It's just a little bit of water. We'll clean up the roof of the car and, uh, and get to vinyl wrapping. We're gonna go ahead and remove this, um, this little antenna shark fin thing. Um, and vinyl wrap it up. Should be fun. I love vinyl wrapping. I don't know if you guys know this, so it's gonna be a really enjoyable process for me. Turns out, it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, overall, this vinyl wrap, I'm not sure if all vinyl wraps are the same. This is the same brand of vinyl wrap that we used last time. And uh, I don't know if you guys, you, yeah, you can see all these like micro scratches um, or just legit scratches. Chelsea is just not happy with that type of finish and I can't blame her. And so we got about halfway done. It took us many, many hours. And, uh, and we were talking about it and she just said, you know, if it's not gonna be worthwhile, I don't want it. And she'd rather have me paint it at a later time and have a better finish. And I'm happy to paint it at a later time because then I get more paint practice. So the vinyl's coming off and uh, it'll be white for a little bit until um, th there's, there's some things in the works and I may have a better, si a better place to paint than in here uh, that is a dust-free environment like a, a you know, I'm not gonna say professional paint booth, but I may be able to get my hands on a much better spot to paint. And how easy is it to mask up just a roof? It's really easy. You just lay a piece of plastic over the entire car, you cut out the square that is the roof, and then you paint the roof. So it's a very, very quick and easy thing to prepare and paint. So I'm happy to do it. So we are canceling vinyl wrap for tonight, which I'm also happy to do. Sinar. All right, well, it is midnight, so Chelsea had to go home because she has work tomorrow, but this is what I do for work, and I don't have any work to do tomorrow, except more of this. So I might as well keep going for tonight. Uh, next thing is the bumper, but we ran into one more problem. We have been fraught with problems on these mods for this car, uh, but I will overcome. Let me show you. So I bought this black uh, kind of cosmetic, like say, let's call it like a front lip uh, for the bumper. And uh, it, I like the shape of it. Chelsea and I both really like the shape of it and the accent that it does with the car. And we think it would look good once we have, you know, the black roof and the black front lip and uh, we got black girls and stuff like that. But the problem was is that um, although it was labeled as being for an M5, I think it's actually just for a five series. I'm guessing most of the M cars are wider than the standard series. And this is definitely not wider wide enough. You can see it kind of comes in and it doesn't work out there. And if I show you from the back, you can see it just, you know, doesn't work at all. So that was a big bummer, but Chelsea really likes it. And I like the look of it as well. So I figured I'll go ahead and build it out of aluminum. So this is uh, the leftover aluminum and there is enough, definitely enough space there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do before I return this black thing is I'm going to trace it out. I'm going to modify it. So it is going to just meet up with the corners here. So it's going to come out just like an inch extra. It's not going to be like the Aston Martin, how it came out out here. It's going to kind of come in and meet up there. And I will go ahead and cut that out of aluminum. And then since I love vinyl wrapping so much, uh, I'll go ahead and vinyl wrap it black. I do think vinyl wrap for something like a front lip on aluminum that's just perfectly flat will actually do pretty well for uh, not chipping. Like paint would probably get a lot of rock chips and chip up, even though the Aston Martin one's 100% perfectly fine. 
I think vinyl wrap will work well for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one of those right now. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We got our piece all nicely cut up. The cutting went pretty well, so I just sanded down the edges. I still gotta sand the bottom edge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint prep solution on the top. And then I'll go ahead and wrap this thing in vinyl, transforming it into a black piece. And then we can figure out how to attach it to the bumper. We got our little cosmetic front diffuser uh, wrapped up. It's looking good. Uh, this is another piece that is very obviously going to be painted uh, the right way when I have the time because the, the quality of this vinyl wrap is just crap. I don't know what's on here, but there's some stuff, there's some markings on there that just came that way. So anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna take that bumper, slap it on there, uh, drill some holes through it, attach it with hardware, and then go ahead and insert all the grills for the bumper, preparing it to go on the car. Voila, we have a bumper, did trim black, blacked out the grills and trim black on the uh, grill right there so that's a matching uh, color of black. And then we have gloss black on the diffuser and eventually we'll have gloss black on the roof which will tie it all together, gloss black on the, on the wheels as well. And trim black on all of the trim of the car. Fantastic, fantastic. So let's go ahead and, and get this uh, front bumper on here. Uh, hopefully there will be no issues whatsoever so I can get home before 3 a.m. I'm so happy right now. This car looks so good. I, I want to keep it for myself now. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. From seeing it just completely wrecked to now, this is the first time I've ever seen it back together. Uh, man, what an awesome transformation. What a great deal. So I will go over all the prices of everything that we did to get this car, how much we bought it for, how much work we put into it, how much money we put into it. Um, in the finale, but this is the first time I'm seeing it all put together. I'm so happy. I'm so jealous that I'm giving this to Chelsea instead of keeping it for myself. But at least I get to drive it home. Let's go ahead and clear out a path, get this thing spun around, get it on the road. About time to get out of the shop. It feels really good. We have no more warnings on the dash. Nothing other than the coilovers. It, it says, you know, warning your suspension is modified and it told me it's freezing outside. Other than that, it's all good. We fixed all of those other issues. Let's go for a little drive. Well, it's 2.30 a.m. so everything's closed. So I had to, I had to stop for dinner at 7-Eleven. So my dinner tonight is gonna consist of Totina's party pizza. It's 26 degrees outside, Fahrenheit. So uh, it's gonna be a gingerly drive home. I'm just gonna try not to crash the car on the first time out. We are also out of gas, so gingerly fuel efficient drive home. Home safe and sound, the car made it back with no issues. Oh, actually, I did realize one issue. Now that we have brand new tires on there, there's a little bit more tread and I'm hearing a tiny bit of rubbing, but that's no problem. All right, it's time to go cook up my, my pizza thing so I can get to bed. I gotta be quiet because it's like 3 a.m. But there's just not a lot of better feelings in life than getting home after a really long, really challenging day of work and having just everything go right. It feels really, really good. And I got my pizza in the oven. I think it's done. It didn't go ding. That's lame. I'll just insert sound effect right here. 
<laughs> Anyways, that's it. In the next episode, uh, it's the finale. We will kick the tires on the car. I will teach Chelsea how to drive the car in anger. Uh, we will go do something fun with the car. It's going to be a good time. So please tune in for that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. I really do appreciate all the outstanding support that we've gotten. And speaking of support, thanks to our sponsor, Auto Tempest. Guys, please support the people that support BS Rebuild and hit that link in the description and check out that site. It, you, you won't regret it. I promise. Um, and that's it. I'm super stoked. Finale starts tomorrow. You guys will see it in a day or two. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you want to pick up our merch and support the channel, it's at beisforbuild.com. And if you want to find us at more places, try our Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all Be Is For Build. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Peace. Come, come, come.